And this comes just after a special committee in the Texas Senate wrapped up more testimony on the Uvalde massacre. Now a state lawmaker is suing DPS over the release of records related to the deadly shooting. Stephanie Whitfield is live this morning with more on this lawsuit. Stephanie, good morning to you. Good morning. State Senator Roland Gutierrez represents Uvalde, and he says he filed this lawsuit because the people in his community demand and deserve answers. The 13 page lawsuit names the Texas Department of Public Safety as the defendant. It claims DPS has not fulfilled a public information request asking for details about what the school shooting investigation has uncovered. We're talking about details like which agencies were on site the day of the shooting and when and who was in charge at every moment of the active shooter response. Senator Gutierrez says the director of DPS has pointed fingers at Uvalde CISD police chief Pete Arredondo, and he feels DPS needs to take responsibility too. You had 12 DPS troopers go in and out of that hallway and didn't spend very much more than a few seconds in there. And I'm wondering why the highest superior force in that region didn't spend very much time in the hallway. I asked Commander McCraw or Colonel McCraw yesterday, did those people listen to the so-called incident commander? He said no. So they didn't take orders from Arredondo. Government officials have argued the release of information would interfere with an ongoing investigation, but according to court documents by law, DPS had 10 days to respond. Now Gutierrez is hoping the court will force the agency to release the records, and he believes that getting that information will provide clarity on the botched law enforcement response that day at Robb Elementary School. Back to you. Stephanie Whitfield, thank you.